Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we're going to be discussing the uh, new rain screen feature as well as a few other new items that I've added just in the last few days here. Uh, it's New Year's Eve today and just wanted to put this out before the New Year started um, just to cover a few items that are, are kind of outstanding. So anyways let's go ahead and get started here and uh, throw down a grid as usual just so we got something to place our walls on. And I'm just going to just draw a couple walls to start with. Um, first thing you'll notice is I've done a few little minor updates to the uh, menu, draw menu here, but I'm going to show you those once I get the walls. So I'm just going to draw the walls first, <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and start editing and changing them up a little bit. Okay, so a couple walls. <clears throat> uh, I accidentally turned this to steel on the material. I'm going to change that back right now, actually, just so I have that kind of the default value. And I'm going to regen these walls. Oh, sorry, regen, I mean. Okay, and then of course they're back to wood. Okay. So we got uh, a couple walls here. <clears throat> and, you know, this is pretty standard construction. If you look at the walls, we've got our sheetrock on the inside, we've got our sheathing on the outside, and then we've got our cladding on top of that. So let's turn the cladding off real quick and turn off the. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, where's our sheathing here? And then our OSB. Uh, where is the gypsum? Sorry, I'm not as high speed today as I normally am, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, so there's a couple of walls that we've got. So <clears throat> to start with, the rain screen option, um, let's go ahead and edit one of these wall panels. And if you close, scroll down here all the way to the uh, advanced options, You'll notice that you have the wall rain screen underneath the cladding option, okay? And um, <clears throat> by default that will be turned off. So let's go ahead and just turn that on. And you can see you actually have a lot of uh, settings here. Um, so let's go, th we're just going to kind of go down through each one of them, uh, explain it as we go. So <clears throat> actually, I'm going to actually turn the sheathing back on just to put that back on there. And I am going to update my sheathing material from plywood. Let's go to the zip system here. And it doesn't really matter, just doing that for just so the, the uh, furring uh, strips stand out better against the material. Okay, so if I hit update, right, and you notice we've, we've turned on the rain screen. It's on, but nothing's happened. It doesn't look any different than it ever did. <clears throat> Um, what's going on is, to, in, in order for the rain screen to actually work, the distance or the thickness of the furring strips is controlled by the wall cladding gap. So typically that's an air gap. But when you enable the rain screen feature, that air gap now gets filled with the furring strips of the rain screen. So let's go ahead and change that to 1.5 inches. And now you notice the furring strips appear. So <clears throat> that may be a little confusing to people at first, and, but if you click on this little uh, little help icon here, it will tell you the depth of the rain screen furring is controlled by the wall cladding gap parameter. So like I said, you just got to go up here, change this, and that will make that jump out. And if we do turn on our wall cladding, you will notice, of course, that the wall cladding sits on top of the <clears throat> furring strips, okay? As, as we would expect. <clears throat> so let's turn that back off just so we can see them. And of course, um, let's close that out here real quick. Let's add in a window and a door maybe just to get things a little more interesting. <clears throat> of course, in this particular case, we would have to adjust um, our trim and stuff a little bit to accommodate for that, that, that gap. But for now, I'm just going to turn that wall trim off. Um, I'm not going to dive into those details too much right now. Just want to show that what happens with the uh, the furring strips themselves. So if we throw a window in here, <clears throat> okay. So you can see what happens is is the furring strips, and of course if we turn that cladding back on, uh, you know, as, as as normal, it's it's sitting on top of the furring strips as it should. Um, the furring strips or a rain screen does not frame out around the openings right now. Um, it basically just does exactly as you see here, where it it throws the uh, cuts out you know whatever 
uh, rain screen material is in the way of the openings. Um, I, at some point, I may add in uh, some algorithm for framing around these openings, but you know, I figured it mostly <clears throat> my intention with the, this whole rain screen thing really is more of a not exact, uh, you know, how you're going to build everything, but just kind of show the overall configuration and, and you know, rep, it's more representational, I suppose. So anyways, um, yeah, openings are handled as, as shown. Um, so let's dive into the, um, the parameters just a little bit here, and there's not too many of them. <clears throat> okay, so doo -doo -doo, fur and width. Okay, so that's the width of the strips, right? That's pretty basic. Let's just change that, and you can see, you know, that's they're bigger, they're smaller, typically to one and a half or something like this. Uh, you know, that's the spacing between them. Um, you can offset them. So, for instance, in this case, if we were to uh, look at the wall itself, you'll see that. Uh, well, I guess we got to turn off the sheathing to look at that. Let's do that real quick here. Okay. <clears throat> let's go back to 16 inch on center just so we can line these up and let's go one and a half so I want to show this one thing because I think it's interesting okay so without an offset you'll notice that we're kind of right in between the stud spacing so what I found is with regards to the offset if you want to have them line up on the studs themselves what you want to do is basically do half the uh, stud spacing so in this case that would be eight inches Okay, and you can see that now they're perfectly lined up with the uh, the regular stud spacing. Right. And, you know, that may or may not be an issue or may or feature that you want, but just that's what that offset is for. Okay, now these two, uh, three other, well, two other parameters down here, the top size and the bottom size. Okay, so this only applies if you change the furring direction to a horizontal orientation. So right now, obviously, it's vertical, right? The strips are going vertical, but there are situations where you might have a horizontal rain screen. And typically, this is, in my mind, is more for people that want to do like post frame type structures and stuff. Um, that's kind of why I put it in there. Um, it's more that sort of thing. So let's update that. So now you see that the rain screen strips are running this way, um, <clears throat> rather than vertical. And let's go ahead and change this to 24 inches. And let's just leave that at zero for now. And I'm going to update that. Okay. So in this case, you know, I can't remember the name actually for this uh, on post frame, what they call these, these, uh, these horizontal members. But you see them a lot like on post frame structures where, you know, they're putting metal cladding on the on the outside. And that's kind of what I wanted to dive into next. So, you know, this this sort of situation where you have this going on, and of course, it would you notice how it's mitered out and it would join with the other one. Um, typically, I see this a lot, like I said, on post frame structures. So that's what I'm going to show next. Uh, I'm going to update uh, let's say we update our material to like a one of these uh, metal type materials and I'm going to turn back on the wall cladding just to show you that real quick quick um, so you know if you've got like a metal a metal building or something and you're putting uh, metal siding on it then this is you know this is kind of the, what the reason for that horizontal furring is um, and then so, you know, with a post-frame structure, they, it gets a little more interesting. Um, I, I just recently changed up the uh, top plate and bottom plate uh, abilities here. And what, what I mean by that is, is I basically did, made it possible. So now you can have uh, basically eliminate the top plate and eliminate the bottom plate, whereas before you could not do that. Um, and, and the reason for that is, is, you know, if you are wanting to use the plugins for some sort of post-frame structure, it hopefully can give you that ability. I, you know, initially I did not uh, intend for that. Um, you know, more more just a conventional framing style than anything. But you know, <clears throat> I just figured well, people seem to want to use it for that as well. So let's see what we can do. So basically, if you do limit the top and bottom plate, and then you change your uh, stud spacing to like 48 inches on center, for instance, 
and <clears throat> um, let's let's pretend like these are posts. So we're just going to change the stud width to like five and a half inch by five inches, six by six post. And you know it gets uh, kind of interesting in that respect. You know, of course, uh, something like this we would probably do the same for the corner studs. <clears throat> And, you know, I'm not exactly sure how you want to frame out your uh, your windows and doors. You probably, in this case, um, would would position these in between the posts more than anything else. So, in that case, you would probably eliminate, you know, your king studs and such. Uh, I'm just going to delete this one right now. I just want to show kind of the, <clears throat> the post frame structure more than anything. And then I'm going to take and move this door over just a little bit here. Let's see, go over on this side maybe. I don't know where to put it exactly. I haven't really thought this one out too well, but <clears throat> I think you kind of get the idea. Uh, actually, let's move it over just one more foot here, maybe. Okay, so there we go. And then, see, now now you say, well, you know, where's the post? Okay, the, well, we can do this. So if we take and go to this door now and uh, change up our king stud width to five and a half inches, um, you know, we turn our king studs. Let's turn off that wall casing as well, just so we can see what's going on better. <clears throat> um, you know, whether or not you need these, uh, all these trimmers and stuff. You know, it, it's, that's your call. But um, <clears throat> I guess the main thing I want to demonstrate here is the fact that uh, with the new uh, rain screen feature and with the ability to turn off your top and bottom studs, um, you can probably get pretty close to like a post frame type structure. Uh, laid out with the wall plug-in now. Um, there might be a few things, uh, I'll, you know, I'll get some more feedback. We'll figure out what else we need to add to make that flexible enough. But uh, yeah, it's got that uh, kind of that ability now as well. So anyways, uh, just vertical and horizontal rain screens. Um, trying to want to demonstrate that. And again, uh, just wanted to make it clear that I know this is going to come up with people is when you first enable that rain screen just remember your wall cladding gap this parameter right here uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see my mouse or not but that wall cladding gap is what determines how thick uh, that furring or rain screen is so you need to set that something other than non uh, zero value to get your rain screen to show up all right um, if you have any questions Comments, uh, improvements, features, etc. Uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'm always here. I'll be here into the new year and uh, looking forward to a better year this year. Hopefully for everybody. And uh, again, thank you for your support. I will talk to you later. Bye.